Yeah, I mean, you, you've been at UCF a long time. Uh, for 2019, you've been here. 2018. All, 20, okay, a long time. So what's it been like after, you know, going and competing in the American Conference, and now this is UCF's first year in the Big 12, going through the conference schedule. How did you kind of perceive everything, being an experienced player, and kind of being there and seeing everything the last few years? What did you think about this first year in the Big 12? Honestly, like, we knew, like, like everyone said before, that coming into like the Big 12, it was going to be a big, you know, like step up. Like the competition was going to be um, at another level. You know, like teams were coming in without, uh, we were playing teams that we never played before. You know what I mean? And so they didn't know like how our style of play. So it kind of gave us, in some ways, like a chip on our shoulder because, you know, like teams were coming in like, oh, probably not like respecting us or probably not, you know, giving us, you know, that type of. I don't know, respect they, they'd give other teams that are already in the Big 12. So we kind of were given the opportunity to kind of shock them and kind of, you know, really like make our mark on the conference. What would you say is the biggest <clears throat> thing that you learned from your last regular season matchup against BYU that you want to take with you into this Big 12 tournament in Round Rock? I think the biggest thing that I learned personally is that, you know, the competition is at that next level, you know, like BYU was a, a great team and like they're one of the top of the nation. So it, like it kind of takes you to go into that like next gear, that extra gear, you know, in the American Conference, um, there were teams that you could play that, you know, like, you know, you'd keep the ball, you know, like you would have maybe, you know, 15 opportunities, 10 to 15 opportunities on goal, you know, but when it comes to like BYU or teams that are at that caliber, even Texas Tech, you know, you're only going to have one or two opportunities, especially as a forward, so you kind of have to like dial in and make sure that those opportunities that you have in front of goal that you put away. 2018, uh, what does this program mean <laughs> to you? Oh, this, this program is honestly, um, being play, playing in this area, I mean, on this team for the last like six years, this place has kind of become my home. And in a lot of ways, uh, UCF will always have such a special place in my heart, like being under Coach Tiff for this long. I've, I've been with Coach Tiff half of her UCF uh, coaching career. <laughs> so and when you think about it like that, like me and her um, have been through a lot. There's been a lot of ups and downs. But um, when it comes to when I'm, whenever I'm out there, I make sure that like I remember how like lucky I am to be able to still play under such great coaching and be in such an amazing environment. Because honestly, UCF has one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best um, environments to play college soccer for sure. And so. you know what it's like to play in the NCAA tournament. So exactly, yeah. You don't want your season to end anytime soon. No, no, I don't want this season to end. Like I can't even, right now I really can't imagine it. Every time I think about it, it makes me like a little emotional because of how long I've been here. Um, you know, you always think about like, oh, what's coming next? Like going into like pros or whatever. But like this place is just so special. and. Uh, all the memories that I've made here and like the teammates that I have like I definitely don't want the season to come to end anytime soon and I know that we have the caliber of team I mean I've been here now for six years and I think that like we have a very very strong team this year we've had like ups and downs and have lost like key players but um, I, ha I know we have the team to be able to get into the NCAA tournament and make it far. There's still memories to be made hopefully these next few weeks but just looking back on these last was it five, six years you've been here? What have been some of the most special moments you've experienced at UCF? Um, one of the most special moments would have to be last year when we uh, finally got our first ring, like for the uh, conference, uh, regular season conference uh, champions. Yeah, no, that was such an amazing feeling because that class was technically my class with like Daria, Kristen, and all of us. And we didn't want to come out of, the, of our, you know, class without a ring. And so that was such an important um, that was such an important moment for me personally, and I definitely know for all of us as a team. Um, and we kind of carried that, like me and Carol were part of that class, so we tried to carry that same like feeling of like wanting a ring and all that stuff coming into the Big 12 because we knew that it would take that like extra juice and that extra motivation to reach it at a new conference. What, what would you say is the difference between the day on a part that first arrived here at UCF in 2018 versus the one we're looking at right now? <laughs> They're laughing in the back because I've changed a lot. <laughs> I think the biggest difference I would say is that I think when I came in my freshman year, I had so many expectations and I put so much pressure on what I wanted my college career to look like. I think like you come in and you're like, okay, I want it to look like this. I want my first season to be this. I want my second season to look like that. And, but my third season, I want to have all these things in place so I could like move on to whatever level that you're trying to go to. 
And um, I think one thing you learn about college soccer or college sports in general, there are a lot of ups and downs. Uh, you get injured, like I came into my freshman year and before the season started, I had gotten injured and that kind of like threw like a, you know, a big obstacle in my like plans that I had for myself. And so I think the biggest difference is that now like I am a lot more grateful and I just allow seasons and like things to unfold as they should. You know, I make sure that I do the best that I can when I'm out there and I like really try to embrace like my teammates and embrace the environment and kind of just let things unfold instead of taking college sports or like this season too serious. Like of course it's very serious, but at the same time you have to enjoy moments and like really, you know, just embrace where you are and kind of like be where your feet are. What do you and your team need to do to be successful in this tournament in Texas? I think what the team needs to do is like understand that um, every game at this point can be our last game. And so we have to play that way, you know, like in the game there can't be like plays that you take off minutes that you're like, okay, like let me just like relax or whatever. Like I think we have to uh, make sure that we always start off uh, like good and dialed in. And then from there we have to like extend our lead. I think that's one thing as a team this year that we've kind of struggled with is like we can get ahead or like we can tie a game, but like when it comes to like extending our lead, so being up more than 1-0 or more than 2-0, that's something that uh, we definitely are going to need because we're going to need that cushion and we're going to be able to, in order to continue with our season for sure. And you saw BYU do that. Exactly. I think that's one thing as a team that uh, we have to do for this tournament is not be like complacent with like a 1-0 lead like early in the game because um, I think just with BYU or Texas Tech or any team that we played, even Oklahoma State, you see that when you get up, like you, the game could be easily tied. The games flip all the time uh, with leads and stuff. Go, you going into this TCU matchup? Didn't get a chance to see them in the regular season. So, what is it like for you guys to kind of go into this matchup? Also, later in the day too, um, going going into the, going into that type of matchup, fighting for you know both of you fighting for your postseason lives. Um, honestly, when it comes to playing, like obviously we haven't played TCU, but like uh, I try to just focus on like what our team has and like the components that we have. And I think that like coming into the game that I have a lot of confidence in the game plan that we set forward and the personnel that we have. Like I have no doubt in our defending ability and our back four and our midfield and our attacking players to get the job done. How does it feel to be recognized by the league? Great, honestly, I, I wasn't sure if it was, we were gonna get like uh, any recognition, but I, I feel like so honored to be able to get an award like that for sure. But honestly, it's a it's a testament to like how hard the team works because like forwards don't look good if the ball is not given to them. You know what I mean? Like, and we're not given those opportunities. So it really is like a team effort, even though it is an individual award. And how does it feel for Jessica to know a uh, freshman? So yeah. just so, so many years ahead, maybe, yeah. maybe six. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's really, dri really driving that point home, aren't we? Um, uh, she, um, I'm so, so proud of her. Like, honestly, like, I've seen her come such a long way, and she kind of was just, like, thrown into the fire. Like, it's really, honestly, I can't imagine, like, coming in, I think, as a, uh, yeah, as a freshman, like you guys said, and, like, thrown into big-time Big 12 games. It's, uh, it's definitely nerve-wracking, and I have a lot, a lot of respect for her being able to step, step up in that moment because I know a lot of people when they're presented with something that uh, that tough, sometimes they the pressure's too much and they like aren't able to perform. Or um, we have to like look for different routes, you know, like personnel wise. But like Jess has been able to really step up to the plate, and like I'm 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 very proud of her, and I have a lot of like respect for that as a player. How cool is it to see the men's success and that number one ranking this week? Yeah, no, I mean all of us have said that that's such a, a such an amazing accomplishment for them. Um, the men's team is, you know, we have so much respect for their program and how they run things and like like everyone said that we're really close to them and so seeing them ranked number one you know it's honestly the recognition that they deserve uh, for the hard work and for the way that they've played and uh, everything that they've overcame uh, in the season so I think them being uh, ranked number one is justified and like Tiff said like UCF is a soccer school and I think uh, men's soccer being ranked number one uh, definitely shows that. What's the biggest difference between the team that started this season versus the team we're seeing right now, now having gone up against a Big 12 competition for a full regular conference season? I think the biggest difference from the team that came in to the team now is 
uh, we came in without really knowing what to expect. So I think like that can also make you come out like really hot with a lot of fire and like motivation. Uh, but I think now that we've kind of like seasoned, you know, all most of the teams, you know, besides like TCU and like other teams like that, we kind of know now what to expect. We know the level that we have to bring because at the beginning we weren't sure what it was, what level we had to bring. Like in the game, like is one zero enough? Or like when I'm is like, can we tie games? Can we end up winning games two to one and all that stuff? Like how much like how dialed in do we have to be to every match? And like, I think now we know like what's gonna take from each individual person. And so I would say like just the biggest difference is like us knowing uh, personally and team wise what it's gonna take to get result results here. You majored in film. If you had to pick one movie for the team to watch before <clears throat> taking the pitch against TCU, whether the day before or a few hours before, since it's late enough in the okay. day, what movie would you pick and why? Honestly, that's a really, um, <laughs> really tough question. <laughs> I, um, I, what? <laughs> Who'd we to? No, um, I'm trying to think of like a good sports movie right now. Um, I knew we were talking about watching Miracle, but um, honestly, I haven't watched that movie in a while, but I think that could be a good like team movie for everyone to watch. You know, good motivation. <laughs> no, yeah, you got to go in and really fighting for the fight now for that post. It went out just with TCU, but also with, but also with Texas, also with Texas as well. Mm -hmm. What was the question? Just what would you, you, now, you know, you, what's it like to kind of have, go into a, kind of a three-team bout for, because the Big 12 is like a three-team big league as a lot of people are projecting, then TCU, TCU, and Texas are both going to be, all three of you are going to be fighting for your big for postseason lives this weekend. I'm, yeah, I mean, it makes all the games way more intense because everybody knows what's, you know, what's at stake. And obviously, you know, Texas, TCU, and us, like, we all know the t situation that we're in. Like, nobody's, like, naive. So it's definitely going to come out in the games. I think the games are going to be fought until the very, very last second because both teams know that if we don't get the result, it could be the last game of the season, and nobody wants that. So I think the games are going to be, like, very entertaining to watch, but also very, very intense in the moment. Um, it doesn't – I don't think in those games – there is no like lead that's too comfortable when it comes to that because teams are going to fight till the very end. So I think it's just going to be really being dialed into that and knowing that like um, both teams want to extend their seasons. Great. Awesome. Great. That's a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank a lot. you. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you.